In this video, I'll be giving a condensed, no fluff overview of all the important things you need to know before you get started with Procreate Dreams in just 9 minutes, so that you can quickly get started with creating beautiful animations. To get started, we will need to create a canvas. We can choose from any of these options. You can click here to change resolution, here to change frames and duration, and then we can create a canvas. Now we're in the main working area of Procreate Dreams. You can move around by... Yeah, we gotta change that. The interface is quite a bit different than Procreate. There's no settings up here. Instead, you can access the settings here and adjust it if you need. Now, let's get started with the unique fundamentals of how Procreate Dreams works. A very important aspect of Procreate Dreams is the fact that we have different modes. These are the drawing mode, the timeline edit mode, the animate mode, and the default mode. This is a very important thing to keep track of because some features will not work properly in some modes, which, trust me, can be a giant headache. Anyways, let's first start with the drawing mode. This mode is pretty self-explanatory, but there are some important hidden features that are stuffed in here. Like if we draw something, how do we add a new frame? Well, we can minimize the timeline here. Now we have the full screen available for us to draw on. And to add a new frame, we can click on the frame here and it'll show the plus icon. We can also hold on the frame to get a mini menu of options. Another very important feature which is quite hidden is that if we click on the time here, we are able to access the onion skin menu. The onion skin is vital for any animation because it lets you see your previous frames, which gives you a guide for what you should paint on your current frame. If we click here, we can enter the timeline edit mode, and now we can use our Apple Pencil to highlight frames. To unhighlight a specific frame, just draw over it again. You can also toggle between frame highlighting and track highlighting by clicking here. This highlighting allows us to group frames or mass apply blend modes. Say you wanted to move all of these frames around. You'd think that highlighting all of them would allow you to move them all around, but nope. I'm guessing this will be added or fixed in the next update though. But for now, a workaround is that you can group them and then you can move them all together. The default mode is what we are put in when we add effects. But how do we add these effects? Well, just click this big timeline button. From here, we can select any of these object properties to keyframe. How keyframing works is that we set a start point for our animation, and then we can move it later on in the timeline and set another keyframe. Then we can move the position. We can think about these two keyframes as anchor points for where we want to start and where we want to end. If you want more precise control of your effects, you can also expand some of them to get the exact properties, which you can adjust. A useful finger gesture is using three fingers to swipe horizontally or vertically, which allows you to zoom in in one direction and it doesn't move your timeline around like the normal zoom does. You can also double tap to zoom in and pinch out to reset zoom to normal. Since there's no adjustment filters in drawing mode, if we want to use adjustments or something like liquify, then we'll have to use this thing. But anyways, keyframing effects is definitely going to be one of the most important features that you'll use in Procreate Dreams, and that there's a lot of cool things you can do with it. It is also only in this mode that we're able to move, scale, and rotate our image. Like if we try in the drawing mode, then it won't work. Also, rotating can only be done with the Apple Pencil. You can also cut the timeline clip, which allows you to move it around or delete certain sections. This adds a huge potential if you want to use Procreate Dreams to edit videos, or if you simply want to incorporate videos into your animation. Now, the next mode is the exciting one. This animation mode records the movements and adjustments you make to your frame and incorporates it as part of the animation. If we look at the timeline, we can see that what it has done is that it has automatically created a bunch of keyframes, which we can also adjust if we want. And you can always double tap to undo anything in Procreate Dreams and triple tap to redo, just like in Procreate. And an option which I didn't see or hear about at first is this modifier here, which is grayed out for some reason. 
You can use this to adjust how Procreate compresses your movements. Basically, it tries to remove the shakiness of your movement, just like how stabilization with some brushes work. Now let's talk about some additional features and cool shortcuts in Procreate Dreams. If you want to import a Procreate drawing into Procreate Dreams, the way to do this is to split screen and then you can drag stuff over. Importing Procreate drawings is very useful because Procreate Dreams is still missing some of the essential Procreate features for drawing. So it is much better when you have an advanced drawing like this to do it in Procreate first. We can click here to add stuff to our timeline, but the interesting part is that we can import audio and videos as part of our animation. We'll see later how this can be used. We can use four fingers to full size the animation and we can play the animation and use our fingers to precisely scrub through. If you have one of the newer iPads, you can hover your Apple Pencil over the timeline to scrub through it. If you flick the playhead, it will go back to the beginning and start playing your animation. If you decide you want to change the length or frame count of your animation, you can still do that by going to the settings and just clicking on the numbers. And I found out that you can even change the resolution. So you're not just limited to the preset dimensions. Which is weird that it doesn't let you make a custom canvas size when you're creating it and instead it's kind of hidden if you want to change it. But now you know. There are two places where we can apply blending modes in Procreate Dreams. Either the layers panel here or in the timeline. The difference is that the layers panel is only for single frames, so just like a drawing in Procreate. Meanwhile, on the timeline, it takes your entire animation track and applies it to the animation tracks below it. You can apply these blending modes to groups or layers by holding on the group, and you can now cycle through the blending modes to select the one you want. Lots of the time, you may want to duplicate your current animation so that there is multiple of them going on at once. But when you duplicate the track, it just makes it repeat. So what you can do instead is click track options and then click duplicate. And now you have another animation which you can adjust. Now let's try quickly creating our own little animation in order to solidify some of the knowledge we've learned. It's best to start with something simple, so I'll go with a classic ball bounce. Enter drawing mode and we can just draw frame by frame. Duplicate frames if we need to, and always remember the principles of squash and stretch in animation. If a frame doesn't look quite right, but we don't want to redraw it again, we can always use the adjustments in the timeline. Okay, so now this looks alright. Now let's try making some adjustments to it. Go into the track select mode and select all the layers, and then group them. We can add some keyframes to add a little more spice to the animation. And we can use the animate mode to move it to the side. Just play around with it until you get your desired look. Remember the finger gestures to move around more easily in the timeline. You can also add some sound if you want to. And now, voila, we have our very first Procreate Dreams animation. So that was everything you need to know about Procreate Dreams in 9 minutes. I hope this video was useful for you. If it was, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe, as I'll be making a lot more Procreate Dreams videos in the future. Anyways, thanks for watching.